Friday, 10th of July, 2015. Paper highlights. First, let's look at the paper highlights from Daily Mirror. CBK leaves for London. Elections Commissioner cracks whip against FCID. NTMR campaign gathers momentum. The seniors of the United People's Freedom Alliance assured yesterday that Western Province Chief Minister Prasanna Ranatunga would receive nomination to contest the election, whereas former President Chandrika Kumaratunga, who was said to be blocking Mr. Ranatunga, left the country. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Some of the UPFA candidates. Some of the candidates who are contesting the forthcoming general elections from the United People's Freedom Alliance signed their nomination papers at the Mahaveli Kendra yesterday. Mohalas from Daily Mirror. MS yet to approve MR's nomination. Rajit. President Maitripala Sinsena had not given his approval either for the nomination of former President Mahindra Rajapaksa to contest the election from the UPFA or any nomination list up to yesterday. Cabinet spokesman Dr. Rajit Sena Ratna said yesterday. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. MR signs his nomination. Vimal. Former President Mahindra Rajapaksa signed his nomination papers to contest the upcoming general elections from the Kurunagala district, said former MP Vimal Veeravangsa. Addressing a press conference at the Abhirama Temple in Narahanpita yesterday, he said that the ex-president had placed his signature confirming that he would contest the forthcoming elections. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. MS. Swindlers will be reborn as dogs. According to the rock inscription found near the Sri Pada, believed to have been engraved during the time of King Misa, Sankamalla, those who stole state assets would be reborn as dogs and crows, President Maitri Palasirisena said on Wednesday. Another highlight from Daily Mirror, Sajin to contest from independent group. The former monitoring MP of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Sajin Digwas Gunawardana, and a group are reported to have decided to contest the general elections from the Gaul district as independent candidates. This independent group is said to comprise 13 persons, including some former Pradesh Sabha members. They are due to place their deposits today. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Harsha economy grew only 4.5% in 2014. A new method of computation would be adopted in measuring the economy growth of the country. Deputy Minister of Policy Planning Dr. Harshadi Silva said yesterday. He said that the actual economic growth in 2014 had been 4.5 percent while it was 3.4 percent in 2013. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. CID grills Sarat Diabru. Supreme Court Judge Sarat Diabru had been quizzed by the officers of the CID for nearly four hours on Wednesday over the allegation that he had assaulted and sexually abused one of his domestic aides. Now let's move to the paper highlights from Ceylon today. Battle begins. Ranil Science nomination for Colombo. Mahindra Science for Kurunagala. Former President Mahindra Rajapaksa has signed nominations to contest the upcoming general election from the Kurunagala district yesterday. National Freedom Front leader Vimal Veeravangsa said, We hope to complete all arrangements regarding nominations by 10th July and former President Mahindra Rajapaksa has already signed nominations to contest the election from the Kurunagala district. Although there were several glitches when preparing the nomination papers, we are currently discussing them and rectifying the matters, Viravangsa said. Another highlight from Ceylon today. MR's nomination yet to be finalized. Rajita. The decision to give nomination to former President Mahindra Rajapaksa from the Sri Lanka Freedom Party is yet to be finalized. Cabinet spokesman Minister Dr. Rajita Senoratna said. He also said that President Maitri Palasir Sena has been surprised by the pressure mounted by those who are opposed to Rajapaksa receiving nomination. Mohalas from Ceylon today. President tells civil society members, I had no control over nominations. President Maitri Palasir Sena has told nine representatives of the civil society on Wednesday that he didn't have have total control over the nomination process of either the SLFP or the UPFA. The civil society representatives met President Sinsena at the Presidential Secretariat at 9 p.m. Mohalas from Ceylon today. Namal says people were misled about Rajapaksa's. Former parliamentarian Namal Rajapaksa said that people were misled during the 8th January presidential election with a false campaign against the Rajapaksa family, especially with allegations that the Rajapaksa family members owned Lamborghinis and helicopters. Another highlight from Ceylon today. Three Rajapaksas for Hambantota. Three members of the Rajapaksa family are contesting for the Hambantota district under the United People's Freedom Alliance at the parliamentary election. Another highlight from Ceylon today. Three Ranatungas for Gampaha. Three members of the Ranatunga family will contest for the Gampaha district from the United People's Freedom Alliance for the upcoming general election. More highlights from Ceylon today. President cannot go against the wish of 6.2 million people. Malvatta Mahanayaka. Mahan 
Nayaka of the Malwata chapter, Most Venerable Tibbat Wave Sri Sumangala Thera said that people are expecting a correct decision would be taken by President Maitri Palisi Disena, which would not push the country backwards, but will take it forward and a decision that will not go against the wish of 6.2 million people. No one will approve any act that will go against the decision given by the people of this country on 8th January. The President especially should keep that in mind when making decisions, he said. Now let's move to the paper halas from Daily News. President's turnaround on UPF nominations. Civil society dejected. Sobita Tuera turns down President's request. President to explain his position on July 13th. Key civil society members who were instrumental in the election victory of President Maitri Pala Sirisena in January have expressed disappointment over the nomination process of the UPFA during a meeting held with the President on Wednesday night. They informed the President that the civil society felt betrayed and cheated after the UPFA agreed to give nomination to former President Mahindra Rajapaksa to contest the parliamentary election from the UPFA. National Movement for Social Justice convener Venerable Madhuluwavi Sobitotera turned down the request to take part in the meeting on the grounds that there was no room for any discussion as the nominations had already been finals. Another highlight from Daily News. Politicians involved in the drug business will be firmly dealt with. President. President Maitri Palisi Sena said that the government will never hesitate to take tough action against politicians who have links with the drug business and smuggling. Politicians should be exemplary characters and therefore the government strongly believes that politicians should not have links with the drug business. The government will take tough action against such politicians without considering their states or political party, the president stressed. Another highlight from Daily News. MR signs nominations for Kurunegla district. Former President Mahinda Rajapaksa signed nominations to contest for the upcoming general election from the Kurunegla district. The inaugural election rally of the UPFA will be held in Amradapura after closing of nominations. The UPFA requests the public not to be misled by the rumors spread countrywide. National Freedom Front leader Vimal Viravangsa said he was addressing the media at the Abe Rama Colombo yesterday. Another highlight from Daily News. PM warns pensioners anomalies rectified soon. Prime Minister Ronil Vikramasinghe has instructed his secretary to put in place a mechanism through which pension anomalies of retired government servants can be looked into before August. The government is in the process of rectifying pension anomalies of retired government servants. Many pensioners have complained to the Prime Minister's office that they find it difficult to obtain the application online. The Prime Minister has ordered the officials to implement a program through which the pensioners can obtain the application. Another highlight from Daily News. School boys punished for stealing olives. Three boys studying in a leading Tamil school in Lindula who plucked wild olive from a tree in a private land were punished by the landowner. The owner of the land who caught the three boys made them kneel down and tied them together before they were subjected to assault by the same person. The incident occurred in a land on Nagasena Mawata, Lindula on Wednesday afternoon. Another highlight from Daily News. No nominations to around a dozen ex-UPF MPs. Rajita. Nominations will be denied to around 12 MPs from the last parliament on the UPF UPFA ticket, Health and Indigenous Medicine Minister and Cabinet Spokesman Dr. Rajita Senaratna said, responding to a question by a journalist at the Cabinet Press Briefing at the Information Department yesterday, the minister said the UPFA nominations were not finalized yet. He added that the final decision on the nominations would be taken by the President. Another highlight from Daily News, actual growth rate only 4.5%. Harsha. Economic Development Deputy Minister Dr. Harsha D. Silva yesterday said that the actual growth rate of the country's economy was only 4.5%, though the economy was presumed to have grown by 7.4% last year. Dr. Silva said the country's gross domestic product was calculated based on the 2002 economic structure, which is not realistic. D. Silva added that the country's economy has actually grown by 4.5% based on the actual economic activities and economic structure. We brought you the paper halas from today's newspapers and we will bring you more tomorrow.